Need stop. Need stop. Hi there, Scary Gary. Glad you guys came back. Well, today we're going to continue on our bathroom theme to some degree, and it's all about what are you going to do about the space. And the first thing I want to talk about is what do you do with tiles? You know, when you're traveling for long distances, you want to try to use the tiles at least twice. I mean, I don't know about you, but I when I clean myself, I usually clean myself good enough where I don't have that much problem looking at using the tile for a second time. But you're going to want to hang the tile up so it dries. And unfortunately, most campers come with a very limited amount of space where you can hang things up. In our camper, there was specifically only one tile bar right above the toilet. Now, I've kind of touched on this on a previous video. I put a uh, screen bar on the back door that goes into that bathroom. And we don't typically use it that much, but what it does is it allows me to have another place to put a tile over. It's almost like a tile rack going across there. So that that's the first part of it. The second part of it is we put a hook over the door. And you can, we've hung two tiles on that before. We went ahead and on the outside of the bathroom door, we put two more hooks on there, just the standard command strip hooks. And then the last thing we did, which this one really helps out even more than just for tiles, is I put one of those, those portable clothes lines, you know, the ones that are round and you, you pull the string out and you, you took it on the other side. You can tighten it up there so it doesn't sag. I put it right over the bathtub for two reasons. Number one, I mean, it's, it's a good place. Some things aren't going to be in the way when they're there, but also take a swimming suit that when you bring back, it's going to be really wet and drippy. So if it's up there, then it's going to drip into your bathtub and that's going to help a lot. Uh, the other thing is when Mary Lou does the e-laundry, there's a lot of things she likes to hang up wet or damp. And typically what she ends up doing is she kind of puts the stuff along the top of our slide, and which means I'm sitting here right now watching TV with shirts that are hanging down like this, so almost having to kind of slope underneath it. So this will allow her to, to hang those hangers across there also, which was going to help. So that's going to add a lot of space for the tile portion of it. Now, the second thing that our bathroom is quite lacking in, it is things where you can put your shampoo bottles when you're taking a shower in there. There's only three spots on the one side of our tub enclosure, and they're actually pretty darn small. It's almost like only one bottle can go on each one of them. So... What I did, our good friend Amazon, I found some portable little trays that actually, that they don't have to screw in the wall. You have a an adhesive block that attaches to the wall. Uh, you want to make sure your substrate is clean before you put it up there. And then I put it up, put that on there, making sure it was nice and level. I kind of, I mean, the thing is, oh, it's getting close to 11 inches. So it's almost bigger than, you know, you want it in a place that it's not going to get in your way when you're showering. So I kind of wanted up where the head of the shower was above us on the one side, but it almost went on outside the exclosure. But I put it up there. And then the only other thing is it doesn't, like lock in place so we typically always take it out put it on the floor of the tub before we go and then when we get to the our campground we pick it off the floor put it up on top so we have it for use up there but it gives us i mean you go from having three bottles over there to probably having i don't know four or five maybe pushing it with six depending on the size of your bottles but that gives you a lot more space right there how shower heads right up here and just reach right over there and grab so it's just another nice method to expand the storage in your bathroom and and i think i covered this in a video at the beginning about how to get clean and not so clean a place i constantly always used to use the uh campground toilets in the shower rooms 
mostly because I'm so big and here comes COVID and first of all, they shut most of them down. So I've come along and I've shown you a video in the past and I'm gonna make links to all these videos of how to expand the area because I think I hate it when the shower curtain's rubbing right up against me. So I put a method to get that bigger and that's just another situation where you just try to utilize every square inch that you can in these campers because you know we love we love camping and it's just a matter of you want to make them as nice and as comfortable as possible well i hope this has been informative and i sure hope to see you next week if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications. Put the comments down below. Subscribe and you make us happy, right, Maggie? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh.